Hey, my name is Miller. I work for Ores, California. So I spend most of my time in Coloma on the Forks of the American. Sometimes I go down and work on the Tuolumne and the Merced as well. Um, I'm here to give you a short little overview of kind of rafting 101, you know, some common questions and answers. The best way you can prepare for your rafting trip is start a couple days ahead. Check the weather, see what the conditions are gonna be like, dress warm, dress to get wet. So for layers, we're really trying to avoid cotton. We're looking for those quick drying layers, synthetics. You can wear like a base layer against your body. You could throw something over that to keep the sun off of you. And then if it's gonna be raining on the day that you're coming out, definitely feel free to add a rain jacket or rain pants and uh, make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear. So something with at least the strap that's gonna stay on your feet, even if you're in the raft or if you're swimming in the water. You also wanna bring sunscreen and a water bottle with you so you can continue to take care of yourself on the river. If you're not a sunscreen person, definitely cover up. We're trying to avoid that sunburn out here. When it's time for your trip to start, go ahead and head that way early. Give yourself a little bit of time in case uh, the directions are a little spotty or you get traffic. You may not have cell coverage at the outpost that you're arriving to, so make sure you read your email before you've got all your info and you're ready to go. The first thing you're gonna do when you get to the meeting place, check in with uh, the trip leader of your trip. They'll have some info on you. They'll have some info for you. They can let you know what to expect out of the rest of the day. An important part of our trips is we are gonna be heading downstream. The river doesn't run in a circle. Some of our trips start with the bus ride, some of ours end with the bus ride, but we are gonna have transportation to the river. Your trip is gonna start with a big emphasis on safety. So a really important part of your day is the safety talk. We give you guys the safety talk not to scare you, but to make sure that you are prepared for any situation that may arise. You know, this is a wild environment. That's why you signed up for this trip. It can be unpredictable. So we just wanna make sure that you guys have all of that pertinent info for anything that may arise on your trip. A big part of that emphasis on safety is the personal protective equipment that you'll be wearing. You're always gonna have a life jacket that's gonna be fitted by a guide. This will be very snug, but we wanna make sure it's tight on you. It'll loosen up when you get wet. You're also gonna have a helmet that'll be fitted by a guide. When you're in the boat, this life jacket and this helmet is being worn. We really wanna protect you guys. Orders runs a bunch of different types of boats on all the rivers we run. Sometimes we run oar rigs on single days, but most of our single day trips are executed from a paddle raft. Some important things to know about a paddle raft is we're gonna be getting in and out of this raft wherever we feel most stable. We can climb all over this boat. However, when we're sitting in this thing, we wanna be sitting on the outside tubes of the raft. Paddling is also gonna be more of a core activity than with just your arms. So prepare to engage your full body throughout the day. So food may or may not be included in your trip. All of this info is in the emails that you'll get prior to your trip. So definitely consult those before your day starts. If we do provide food, a lot of times we'll do a deli sandwich spread or we'll do a tortilla wrap situation. We try and include fresh fruit in this. We've definitely got some nutritious options. We, we cover vegans as well, and uh, we have vegetarian options too. Part of what makes your river trip exciting is the unpredictability of the features. So rapids is where the big, exciting stuff is. We're going through big waves, getting the boat real wet. Flat water is where we can cool down a little bit, we can relax, we can talk, we can play games, we can do whatever we like. There's two types of swimming. There's uh, voluntary and non-voluntary. Voluntary is really fun. You know, you get really hot, you ask your guide, can I hop out here? If it's a good place, your guide will let you get in the water, swim around, cool off. Non-voluntary is a little different. That's when we're all in the raft together and you're falling out. So this is a little different experience. This will be covered in your safety talk and your guide will have a lot of different info for you. They'll help you out as much as they can. Getting back in the boat is gonna require a little bit of help from some of the people on your trip. They're gonna go ahead, grab a hold of you from the straps of your life jacket right here. They're gonna put their knees against the outside tube. They're gonna pull you in, pull you right on top of them. So flips and wraps, while uncommon, are definitely not unheard of. This is an experience that you can have on this trip. That's part of the thrill of it. So in these flip situations, in these wrap situations, the best thing you can do is stay calm and listen to your guides. They are here to offer you advice. They're here to help you out. At the end of the day, after our river trip, we'll reach takeout. Takeout is a teamwork activity. We all work together as a group. We're gonna carry that gear up. Sometimes we're carrying those boats up above our heads, putting them on top of a van, putting them on a trailer. We're gonna grab all of our personal gear. We're all gonna help out. We're gonna lug some gear out, get it on the vehicles, and get ready to head out. After takeout, we'll load you guys back up. We'll take you back to the outpost or back to your cars, and we'll wrap up a great day.